equal to cosine x minus sine x. And if we're going to get the third derivative of the function, fx equal to sine x plus cosine x. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happy with some work and belief. Know what I want. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mathematic TV. So now, let's talk about the derivative of sum, or let's continue our topic about the differential calculus. So last time, we uh, talked about the derivative of constant, also the derivative using a power formula. So now, let's talk about the sum, or the derivative of a sum. So the formula is d over... d over dx of the function u plus v. I mean d over dx of u plus v is equal to du over dx plus dv over dx. So let's try some problem using this formula. So what if we're going to get the derivative of the function? y equal to hmm, x squared plus 2x. So following this formula, let's get the derivative of x squared with respect to x. Then let's add the derivative of 2x with respect to x. So y prime is equal to, so what is the derivative of x squared? So x squared is very easy to differentiate. Uh, using a power formula if you watch my uh, last video about the power formula so you have a idea how to get the derivative of x squared so the derivative of x squared is 2x then plus what is the derivative of 2x the derivative of 2x Again, using the power formula, this is equal to 2. Hence, the first derivative of the function y equal to x squared plus 2x is 2x plus 2. So this is the first derivative. So if we're going to get the second derivative of the function y equals to x squared plus 2x, y double prime is equal to so what is the derivative of 2x the derivative of 2x is 2 plus what is the derivative of 2 or what is the derivative of constant the derivative of constant is 0 so 2 plus 0 is still 2 so the second derivative is if we're going to get the third derivative of the function y equal to x squared plus 2x, so what is the derivative of 2? The derivative of 2 is 0. And if we're going to get the fourth, fifth, and so on of the derivative of the function y equal to x squared plus 2x is still 0. Okay, let's proceed to the uh, second example. So let's differentiate the function f x equal to sine x plus cosine x. So following this formula, this is equal to, or the first derivative is equal to f prime of x is equal to, what is the derivative of sine x with respect to x? The derivative of sine x is cosine x. Plus, what is the derivative of cosine x with respect to x? The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Hence, f prime of x is equal to cosine x minus sine x. And if we're going to get the 
third derivative of the function fx equal to sin x plus cosine x f double prime x is equal to what is the derivative of cosine x yes negative sine x and what is the derivative of sine x cosine x or positive cosine x so cosine negative sine x minus the derivative of sine x which is positive cosine x so, so minus cosine x so the second derivative of the function fx equal to sine x plus cosine x is negative sine x minus cosine x and if we're going to get the third derivative of the function sine x plus cos x or yes the, the function or the function fx is equal to sine x plus cosine x so if we're going to get the derivative the third derivative so this is equal to f triple prime x equal to what is the derivative of negative sine x the derivative of sine x is cosine x or positive cosine x but there's a negative here so this will be negative cosine x minus the derivative of cosine x the derivative of cosine x is positive is negative sine x but there's a negative here so this will be positive sine x if you uh, remember that negative times negative is positive so hence the third derivative of the function fx equal to sine x plus cosine x s is negative cosine x plus sine x the second derivative is negative sine x minus cosine x and the first derivative is cosine x minus sine x so if we're going to get the fourth derivative of the function fx equal to sine x plus cosine x so if we get the derivative of negative cosine x plus sine x this will be back to the original um, functions which is f of x is equal to sine x plus cosine x all right that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts about it by commenting below and if you learned something today please give this video a thumbs up also if you want to see the other videos link in the description below and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell stay tuned and see you on my next video thanks and god bless i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong